Hello everyone, this is Sandra at the Whispering Well. Welcome back to my summer house. So there will be traffic noise because I've got a road right to the back of me, literally right behind me. So I'll try to talk a bit louder. Um, but today I thought we could come out here and have a look through um, the Northern Animal Tarot, which was a Kickstarter that I backed last year and arrived a couple of weeks ago. It was supposed to be here by October, but there were some delays, um, I think due to COVID and some other reasons, but I'm glad you know to have it now it has arrived so this is great so this is the box but before we get to looking at that it came with this lovely thank you card that says thank you for all your love and support which is really nice you know when the uh, creators put in little touches like that and it's a lovely card with these owls on it then we have this kind of postcard and it says, welcome to your handcrafted anthropomorphic northern animal tarot deck. What's unique about this deck? It's printed on textured archival, sustainably sourced paper from Canada. This deck was also made and printed locally to lower emissions and support small businesses. So that's really great too. And this is a 98 card deck. More cards, more stories. I've added more characters and places. I've also added some bonus gifts because you made this deck possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Enjoy the stickers and a hand-carved printed tarot pouch plus a tiny guide booklet. I was inspired by vintage books for the tuck box. So with regular wear, the texture paper and debossing should start to look like a much loved fairy tale book. So enjoy everything and I hope you like all the small extra touches. And then it's got the creator's Instagram which is at Northern Animal Tarot or her art studio at Wilder Hearts Studio and the website wilderheartsstudio.com so that's really nice too then we have the stickers look at this one it's like a fortune teller so cool these stickers and stuff I normally put them in my journal it's really nice and we've got this little one as well oh my god again fortune teller but there's a rabbit here so really nice this is the pouch she was talking about and actually you know the outer box and I should have brought it down with me but I, I forgot um the outer box, she like hand painted this design on the outer box, on the lid and the inside of the lid. Can you imagine all these packages that were going out to people and she'd hand painted this design on two sides of the outer box. So I'm going to cut that off the lid of that box and keep it because it's really cool. So that's the little bag, it's one of these nice hessian type bags. Okay, so this is the booklet, and it is just a small um, booklet. So you just get a little write-up for each of the majors there. So, But you know, it's enough, because this is an RWS-based deck, so if you're familiar with that system, it shouldn't be a problem. And for the minors, we just get a couple of sentences for each of the suits. And then there are some bonus cards that are talked about at the back of the book. Now for the bonus cards, they were made to enhance your storytelling skills and bring in new environments and characters into your story. So we have um, phases of the moon, we have shadow cards. And I like this bit. This deck is based upon the classic Rider Waite Smith tarot deck that was drawn by Pamela Coleman Smith. Oh, you know, she's just totally a legendary artist and storyteller. So cool. 
so yeah so that's the little booklet that's the back and this is the top box now it was sealed and I know everyone's going to be like oh my god you've broken the seal first edition deck I did try to open it from the bottom but it appears to be glued so I had no option but to break the seal but you know it's fine so it is a tuck box but it's quite a sturdy tuck box in a linen card stock with an embossed design on the front and inside you can see there's like a crow and some stars and that goes right the way down into the box so that's fine so then we have the deck obviously these are the backs it's a linen cardstock it's a thick deck because we do have 98 cards here um, okay so I'm hoping you can see this okay and it says on the title card time to adventure with northern animal tarot I just love the artwork in this I mean just look the cuteness of that place sorry about the noise from the road guys as I said those are the backs and here we have our fall look at him so cute and look we've got a face in the Sun I always love that and look instead of a little white dog we've got this little ladybird or in the US you would say ladybug and it's got little shoes on it I just love the artwork in this deck it's so nice. Now, the cardstock, some people might say it's a bit thin, um, but you can feel it's nice quality though, and it is linen. And I, I, I've found before that when it's a linen cardstock, it does tend to be a bit more on the bendy side. I wouldn't, it's not terrible, it's not horrible. I've felt much thinner than this and you like I say you can feel that the quality is there so and it will shuffle really well and if you're a riffle shuffler I think it will be a dream to shuffle so that is our fall then we have the magician oh wow look at him the high priestess at her. She's even got like a more feminine look, I think, to her as well. And this lovely blue robe that she's wearing with the yellow stars, they really stand out. And then we've got the triple moon above her. The Empress. So we have a bear here for the Empress. Lovely purple robe or clothes in there. The Emperor. Wow, look at him. He looks like he wouldn't stand any messing, doesn't he? <laughs> We've got his bird companion here. The Hierophant. Now, there's two Hierophant cards. So we've got this one that's dressed. His trouser parts almost remind me of, because they've got like the fringes on, like Native American type of clothing but I could be wrong or we've got this red um, clothing here I think I prefer the red one so I'll probably keep that in so that's a hierophant which is like a ghost oh look at the lovers just look at the cuteness of those faces and again we've got a face in the sun or moon look at them holding their shells my god I love that I love otters anyway a chariot that's really cool so we've got like a wintry scene we've got look, looks like two hares pulling the chariot with like a bear inside and look he's got a moon and a star on either shoulder that's really cool chariot card strength so it looks like a rabbit and this dog, although the mouth is open and we can see the teeth, 
he looks like he's enjoying a scratch under the chin, doesn't he? <laughs> the Hermit, quite a dark card here, but very cool. The Wheel of Fortune, we've got the different animals here, I like this wheel, it's really nice. Justice, so we've got like a polar bear and a block of ice here, I wonder if his chair is made of ice as well. <laughs> the Hanged Beast for the Hanged Man. I love it in animal decks when the hanged man or hanged one is um, a bat. So cool. Death. Oh well. Wow. Oh, that's um, that's powerful, isn't it? This is um, a dead animal, and um, we've also got a bird skull here but we've got the roots of a plant growing through the open area there um, so that gives you that rebirth element and the flies have probably come out of the body of this dead creature so again rebirth but they need to be careful because the spider's web. So this could also be, they could be food for the spider too. So that's quite a cool death card, but quite, um, yeah, quite striking. Temperance. Mm. The devil, oh wow, look at that. It's like, um, looks like a, it reminds me of a volcano with horns and hands. I know it's not. <laughs> so, um, because like I suppose the fiery element around it, we've got these animals down here. The tower, oh. so the tree is on fire and it's right on the edge of a cliff as well and the animals leaping out of it. We've got these big lightning bolts. The star, oh that's really cute isn't it, look at that. Oh, I love that. A lot of star cards I'm kind of, yeah it's okay. Not really one of my favourite cards, but this is probably my favourite star card now. The moon. Oh, I again, love the face in the moon. We've got... They look like they're just sitting having a conversation. Or maybe they're doing magic, look. It's coming out from the hands there. The sun, oh I love that, like a moose with a, looks like a skunk possibly on him, look at that sun face, and we have judgement, oh dear, <laughs> a candle and a bug getting a bit too close to the flames, that's a cool judgement card actually, I like that. And the world, that's really nice too. So we've got like a rat, possibly, here. Yes, I think so. It's difficult for me to see some of these cards because of the light, because it's so bright and I'm sitting a little way back from, from them, but it's fine. Ace of Wands. I'll try and go a bit quicker through these guys. Two of Wands, a fox there. Three of Wands. Four of Wands, oh that's a nice 
seen actually. <laughs> Dragonfly. And look, even a nest up here of bees. Oh, I love that. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Oh, that's nice too with all the flowers. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Wow, he looks like he's got caught by fast moving wands, doesn't he? Is that trapped in the middle? Nine of Wands. And our Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Look at his bright pink trousers. It's like a bit kind of hippie to me. <laughs> Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. All these lovely sunflowers and our king of wands so it looks like the wands were all foxes doesn't it and then we have our ace of cups that's lovely two of cups three of cups Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, look how sad he looks, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and our Ten of Cups, that's lovely. And we have the Page of Cups. This is fish. He's sitting on the bank reading a book and he's in that kind of almost like meditation pose with his legs, isn't he? Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. And our King of Cups, oh, I like him, very cool. Then we have our Ace of Swords. Oh, um, okay, for some strange reason I've got two Aces of Swords, so this may not be good because it might be that I've got a card missing. Um, Never mind, let's just carry on. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords, oh. Ten of Swords. And then we have our Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords, he's very cool. Queen of Swords. And our King of Swords, who's a lovely owl with this nice dragonfly here. Then we have our Ace of Pentacles. It's nice with the trees. The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. It's lovely squirrels. Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow, look at that. Very what Rider Waite Smith, though, isn't it? Six of Pentacles, 
Seven of Pentacles. Love the faces on these. Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles and our King of Pentacles. Then we've got the extra cards. So I've not looked through this, guys. I'm looking through it the first time with you guys. So we've got the All About Me spread, Mind, Body, Soul, My Thoughts, My Energy. That's cool. We've got another spread here busy bee spread and how's my heart spread then we have um just looks like a seed or something there but i'll find out from the guidebook anyway um We've got owls here with letters. That reminds me of Harry Potter. This one here. Oh, look at this snake. Oh, that's lovely. See, so you can choose to have these in or not. I mean, it's up to you. If you have these in or not, that's the moon. I think some there there were moon phase cards, so this is obviously what these are. Oh, look at this with like the northern lights and like the dark moon. That's really cool. And then there were some shadow cards, so probably these are the shadow cards because look at that it's quite creepy face in the tree but it doesn't look like a a happy face does it this little guy here it's like a goblin oh we've got a ghost star so that is the complete deck guys i don't know how come i've got two ace of swords but it's it's fine because they're both exactly the same it's probably just a mistake